Hey, lovely people, welcome to Indie First Look with me, Y Hydra. And today we're looking at Poly Skies. Poly Skies is a casual village builder and colony sim designed to help you relax. At least that's what it says on the can. I've had plenty of experiences where colony sims, sims have completely driven me crazy. But we're going to see if this relaxing builder is up to the challenge of relaxing this tensed up, tense up crazy pants, or if it's just going to drive us nuts. I mean, which is completely possible. I, I am not good at colony games, as you guys might have known or might not know. So we're going to take a look at Poly Skies. We're going to see what it's all about, the ins and outs of the beginning of the game. Just get a nice little sample, a little taste, a little taste of this game to see if it's something that you might want to take a look at and experience yourself. So just as a reminder, Poly Skies was provided to us by Red Phoenix Studios and the Indie Game Collective for tonight's IGC showcase. You can find the link to the game down below. And a huge thanks to you, the viewers, for making sure that this channel is staying alive and continuing the things that I do. So let's soar to the skies and see what Poly Skies is all about. All right, so as as always, let's start a new game. Okay, so there's a creative mode and standard mode. My gut says creative. My, that's what, but you know, I think we need to do standard. Buildings unlocked. Tier one buildings have been unlocked. Um, okay. Welcome to Poly Skies. The land beneath has been overrun by monsters. Oh, crud. Up here in the clouds, we are safe. For now, at least. As you build, you will need more villagers to expand. Find or trade new villagers. Oh my gosh. At the end of every week when the airship arrives, you can unlock new building tiers by gaining more villagers. Keep track of this in the milestone panel. You should also track active quests in the quest panel. Cool. So here is our thing. The sky is a lovely blue today. It sure is. Sure is. Who said that? Do they have names? Oh my gosh, they do. And last names. I love that. Joyce. Okay, we're going to pause it. Enter village name. Hydra. So what do we do? I feel like they need a home. Do we need to build you guys a home? Let's do that. Let's uh, that's quest first. Build two huts in your village. Oh, <laughs> your build two huts for your villagers. This will allow them to work and have a place to eat. Lore, lore. Okay. Okay. Villager list milestones. Let's build, move, repair, build, remove trees, remove. Okay. Build community. Hut. Uh huh. Let's uh build a hut like that. And one. That looks like that. Quest. Claim it. Yeah. Food shortage. Build a plot and assign three workers. Villagers will begin to bring food into storage. So I, I'm curious. So I've played plenty of like. Not repair. I've played plenty of. city builder games and even like world building games so i'm curious what they mean by this being three claim build a storage barn to store resources 
I'm curious what they mean by it being a casual a casual experience or a calming experience is there threat of da is there dangers that we should be worried about it seems pretty easy to get going build an arborist and assign three workers what is essential to building villagers the job i feel very safe up here i'm glad who said that We'll build this. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> we'll build this somewhere. Move. No. Build. Not repair. Build. Resources. Oh, the lights turn on. This. And we'll. I mean, we'll build it like here, I guess out in the outskirts of this place. Three. There we go. Getting wood. Manual manually remove ten trees. Manually removing trees will give you a small amount of wood that can help you build if you get stuck. Remove trees. Oh! Oh, it's okay. Aha! We have claimed the wood. Build a mooring and call or wait for an airship. You can trade with the airship for goods. Oh, nice. All right, so we're going to build the airship mooring. Is it under resources? No. It's under community, right? Mooring. Maureen. Can we build? No, we can't. <laughs> what side is the side that I want? I guess like that. We could probably move it. Yeah, we can move it. Oh, okay. That's pretty nice. Claim. Ten is a crowd. Exchange four villagers. Use the trade menu to exchange four villagers. Use your coin before trading resources. Got it. Got it. Ooh, crystals. I really like the visuals of everything. It's nice, simple, and really just elegant. And it's cute and wonderful that we're like up above the world. I like. It. I also like we could pry into their personal lives. I mean, <laughs> that's that's why we play this, right? We we can name people. Oh, can we name somebody? Okay, Helva Wood Shimmer. Oh, we can't name them. <laughs> oh, good. We're not doing that. This is one of those kind of things I'd probably, if I ended up ever playing this on stream, um, we are naming, <laughs> we are naming people. Oh, oh, do I need to? Do I, did I need to do that? The music's nice. Okay, airship. Where are you? Oh, goodness. How did do we get a build on these things, too? I'm curious. I'm not building now. Oh, we can. Oh, but how do you connect them? I am curious of that. Work. Work, my children. Wait. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. What have I done? Where did it go? Oh no. No, oh, no. That was an achievement. Dude, where's my house? Um did did I get rid of the farm? Oh, and here comes the airship. Okay. Resources there. It's built. Three people work in there. Okay, so we have the airship here. How do I do this? Oh, we trade. Okay, so we need two, three, four. We have the money, I think. No, we don't. Oh, okay. So each villager is fifty dollars. <laughs> I say that in the Ah, okay. How much resources do we have? I'm not gonna take food. What I want to take is probably wood. Yeah, I want to get rid of wood. And I... This was a little confusing. Um, so I want to get rid of wood. I'll get rid of this a little bit. A little bit. Uh, you know what? Just the wood. Except... Tier 2 buildings have been unlocked. Joy. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Except... Cancel. There's four idle villagers. Claim that. One small step. Expand onto a second island. Trade ten crystals with an airship. Build a portal to the main island. Trade ten crystals with the airship. Build a portal on the main island, then another. This will unlock the island to... Oh! Oh, that makes sense now. Okay, where is my idle villagers? Quest available. Villagers. Who's not doing anything? You, sir. Oh, they're under. They're right here. Okay, I need to build them a home. They need a home. All right, they need a home. They need homes. Let's build my home. I have, I have a hut. We build them a hut. It's a, it's a nice hut. Oh man, three a hut. Three to a hut. Okay, this one person gets their own home. How wonderful for them. Portal. Unfortunately, I cannot build portal. But I can trade for one. So I need... Cancel. Oh, okay. Cancel that. Let's go to the quest. We need five of those stones. Trade ten crystals with an airship. So, do I need to get crystals? Build resources. Grow wheat and boost nearby plots. 
catching fish, quarry for mining stone, for mining minerals, for mining crystals. Oh, it's a tier three. So I think what I need to do is... I think I need a trade. I don't think I can get those. Oops. Uh, I don't think I can get those. So I need 10 crystals from you, my friend. 10 of them. But a plan. Well, I mean, I'll trade with you. <laughs> trade with you. Uh, let's. We have wood and food. We need more crystals. That's 15. I mean, that's five. Um. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Except. We got, I think we were supposed to trade it to them. I, I don't think, I don't think we were supposed to, okay, whatever. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Oh no. Where are you going? <laughs> Bye. I kind of needed you though. Oh, uh, whatever. We'll figure it out another time. Um, my people need fish. Fishery. Wait. Okay, it was very particular. Can't do that. One, two, three. Actually, let's do two fish. And I'm going to build... A quarry or a mine? I, maybe let's do a mine. You never know what you find in a mine. Well, let's decor. I like me decor. Defense? What's defense? A watch post? Like, what's the defense for? Ike totes build a portal. Ha ha ha! There we go! There we go! Um, oh my, oh my. This mine needs two workers. No more idle villagers. None. None more. Wakey, wakey, people. So I guess we just kind of do our thing. Campfire, place to relax, raise happiness. Put it right there, you know. <clears throat> a lodge? Ooh, a lodge would make it so we could get rid of... these two homes here and here. You just need to find the front of the lodge. Right here. That's the front. Can we build another lodge? 50 and 10. Oh yeah, we can totally build another lodge. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know you guys are probably yelling at the screen here, but it's alright. Remove that. Remove that. Remove, remove, move these lovely new lodges. Look at that. 
See, I'm taking care of my peeps. Whoa, <laughs> just like ants. <laughs> All right, let's put that there. Let's put this here. Work, work for me. I'm going to turn off move because I feel like the move mode is going to get me in trouble. Decorative path. I'm just going to build this. Just make it look nice. What else can we build that we haven't built? Shrines. Lodges, mooring. Can we call yet another? Call it airship the trade. Oh, we have to spend a resource to call it? Okay. I think I kind of miss, miss got that. So there's no quests. Everybody's doing something. Tier three. We have lore being unlocked. Lore letter one. Intar. There have been reports of strange humming and vibrations near the mines in Black Run. Would you have someone take a look at this? People in Black Run are worried, and my workers don't want to go in there. This has been going on for 12 sun rotations. Four men. Simon? Oh, I'm, I have a feeling this, uh, cozy, happy <laughs> town game is about to get nuts. Um, Simon, I have found, I have had many reports like this. I feel something is happening in our land. Please stay away and close off your minds until further notice. I will send a team of experts to investigate. And, uh... Content mine manager. We're milestoning the heck out of it right now. It seems like the mine. Oh, why is it paused? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Whoa, where are you all going? Where are you going? I mean, it's a happy, happy town. We we could probably get more people. Okay, maybe they're not so happy. Why are they not happy? Why are they not happy? Why are you, why are you unhappy? Um, they always knew they were okay. It doesn't really say what they're unhappy about. They're just unhappy. Hermione, why are you not happy? Like, I'm disappointed in you guys. You should be all pleased with what I've created for you. Maybe they need more friends. Maybe. Let's call the boat. I don't know what we're calling it, <laughs> why we're calling it, but oh, quest. Not so happy. Build a campfire or a shrine. A campfire or shrine will raise happiness of your villagers. Always best to have a couple around. Um, I, I built one. Way ahead of you. So that's why they weren't happy. They just weren't ready for the awesomeness of this campfire. Do they need more than one? Let's build the second one. They need double the campfire. Oh, they're enjoying the campfire. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, what's going on here? This is unacceptable in this camp. Please unmerge. Unmerge from each other. 
Hey, bud. You enjoying the campfire? Good. Good, good. Woo, yeah, it's coming back. Okay, we've completed that quest. We've brought back this for trade. I don't know or what to trade for. It doesn't seem like there's um, a economy system, so I don't think we have to worry about, hey, we need to trade. We need X amount of this or that, you know? We could give up some wood. Just to get some radishes. Build our resources. You know what? Having a, a quarry might be good. Let's build a quarry here. You know, you know, and um, let's build not a hut. Let's build one of these papas like that right next to the quarry with, yes, your very own campsite and it fits six people. So one, two, three, four. No, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Cancel. I don't need this on um, trade. Ten fish. I need, I need people. I need people. Six. Perfect. There we go. A lovely house. Oh, <laughs> they just fly across. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, no. <laughs> three. And what else are we going to build for them? Here, they could have a lovely rock area. Oh, I don't have money. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, I need money. So let's, uh, let's sell some goods. Okay, maybe not that. We could definitely sell sell that stuff. Um, except I need money. Because we're building. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Another farm. Actually, do we want to build a farm? Yeah, let's build another farm. A storage bin. This one is going to be for. Nope, not a fishery. This is going to. Oh, oh, nope. This one is going to be. Strawberries? One, two, three. Yeah, all right. The teleporting's got me. It's got me. But yeah, this is a very... It's just a very nice... City builder. I I think it's going to be really cool that you we could just start building onto all these like little land islands i think that's its biggest draw is expanding out to these different little islands and just kind of managing your world it's not that complicated of a game pretty pretty easy to just get into and sink into oh geez do we just not have enough food turn that into cord 
it's definitely a game that is easy to sink into and enjoy and play. So it's like you spend a few minutes into it, doing your thing, building out your world and enjoying that experience. And then it's definitely one that you could walk away pretty easily and know that you had a good time and enjoyed that. And so definitely really like Poly Skies right now and really enjoying it. There is some zaniness with uh with how things clip out and um the ship going through things and it's just it's just a good time it really is just a good time and it is pretty and nice oh geez this looks just so nighttime is the best time honestly like once it hits nighttime it's just so cool with everything glowing and it's just so nice but that is our playthrough of Poly Skies. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's talk about uh, what I liked and disliked. So what I like about this, it is truly a casual, relaxing um, sim build, a uh, building sim. And when I think about when I say that, I'm thinking this this game. There's really I don't feel like we're gonna ever run into a place where we're in trouble, where things start falling apart and we can't fix it <laughs> goodbye zeppelin i feel like if we are in a spot we could easily find a way out one of those ways is we could cut down our own trees and stuff and that really is helpful when you're in a tough spot and you just need to get some quick resources and things out of the way what happens if i do haven't really seen a need for repair i'm sure buildings will start getting more damaged um interconnecting these things is a really cool idea and i think that's like one of the bigger draws outside of being a casual relaxing experience and i definitely feel like it it hits that in strides the few things that i dislike mainly is i'm not sure if there's going to be more buildings um offered up it does seem like this is the the extent of what is offered to us but i'm not entirely sure there could definitely be more things though we are seeing tier four crates and decorations um it seems like tier tier four buildings is a shrine and mining for crystals is tier three so if you're looking thing for something with more uh complex ecosystems i don't think poly skies will have that but where it's lacking in complex eco ecosystems it's making up in being that casual um relaxing experience something that you're not going to feel overwhelmed with and uh, fish out of water with so it's definitely a game for you if you're looking for a casual ex and relaxing experience. If you're looking for something with more crunch and meat, this might feel a little lacking to you, but it's definitely something you'll still be able to enjoy. But that is it for me today. Let's give a big thanks to the developer and the Indie Game Collective for letting us showcase this game for you guys and giving you a little peek at what Poly Skies is about. And a huge thanks yet again to you guys, my viewers, for sticking through all this time with me and hanging out and enjoying these videos. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I will get to you guys next time. Always remember, keep your heart open and your rolls 20. I'll see you 